Hello and welcome everybody to today's lecture about understanding the electric grid, understanding the requirements, the structure and the grid stability. Your benefit of the course is you get basic understanding of the principle of the electrical grid. You will understand the tasks and how they are assigned to the individual devices and I will give you explanations of typical solutions a state of the art. So this course is not meant as an engineering course but it is concentrated and focused on basic understanding. So the essentials for resilient electricity systems are energy as a global quantity on one side and power as a local quantity on the other side. And for the sake of completeness, I show you the full content of my course. Today we concentrate on three phase current and converters. Now let's get started. There's a short recap about how to generate alternating current and voltages by induction. So induction works like this. There is a magnet that has a field that goes through the so-called induction coil. And if this magnet is moved around, the field is also moving up and down. And this generates an AC voltage. As you can see to my right side, it is smooth. Keep this in mind. Smoothness of the sinusoidal shape is essential for the electrical power system. Now, what is the machine for this? These are the so-called alternators. You see here a classical example. You again will see the poles, the North Pole, the South Pole. And when this rotates, it generates the smooth sinusoidal shape. But nowadays, modern renewable sources like photovoltaics, fuel cells, also sometimes of wind farms, produce primarily DC current, how to turn the DC current into AC. And this is done as follows. Take this house, the roof has PV and this gives off, as everybody knows, DC. There is nothing that rotates and generates voltage by induction. Also, there could be something like a storage or fuel cell in this house and they have DC output. And now what is in between to make DC into AC and the Answer is, it is a converter. So, the basic function of such a converter is demonstrated on a typical PV plant. To the left side, you have the PV cells, which give off a DC current. This DC current is going through a switching machine with these little switches. You will soon see how they move. And the output now, for example, if the top left switch and the bottom right switch are closed, is the positive voltage at the output of this, which goes into the AC system. Short time later, it will be changed. Now, the top right and the bottom left switches are closed and you see accordingly, the output of the converter has changed the polarity, now it's minus. And after half a period, again, it changes back and changes back and so on. So now we have generated AC current and AC voltage. But as you have seen, this is quite a sharp change of the status, goes up and down and the electrical power systems, the loads, also the transformers, etc. They do not like this sharp rectangular shape of the voltage. And now something is done to make it smoother, to better approximate the sinusoidal shape. And this you can see here by some modulation of the rectangles. So this is done as follows. We take an ideal sinusoidal shape, which is the desired output of the whole thing. And now we put this into slices and every, say, millisecond or much less than this, for example, there will be one slice concentrated into one full shot into the system. And this is also repeated for the second slice. But here this area is larger and therefore this shot is longer and this goes on and on and on. And if you smoothen this output, then you see it's sinusoidal again and this is what we want. Now let's look at the three-phase sinusoidal modulation of converter. You know, electric power grids are three-phase systems and now we must generate three different phases, which are very similar to each other, from the DC. And this is done by this modulation. At the left side, again, we have the DC side. Then we have this switching machine. And then at the output, we have three phases output. 
So let's concentrate on the first set of switches. They are controlled in such a way that they go on and off also with some intermediate status. And when you smoothen this out, as is done by the grid itself, due to inductances, capacitances, etc., then you again have the perfect sinusoidal shape. The same is applied to the second phase, which has the same shape and is a little bit shifted, retarded, and also the same to the third phase. How is that done in practice? The switches are made by transistor-like electronic devices, which are controlled by a control board in green. And this control board operates according to a program, which is set up by programmers. Now, this means this is a cyber physical system and the programming is still a challenge to us engineers and we are solving it. Thank you very much for staying on in my course and I hope to see you back in one of my next courses. Bye-bye.